Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are currently attempting to push in over this way. They have wildly improved numbers against us, but honestly I don't know that they are going to get that much from their numbers because we're we were dug in anyway before we started doing some pretty dramatic movement. We are definitely moving around quite a bit right now. There's no doubt about that. But that is, I think, fine. We'll dig in and we'll just wait for our wraparound forces over here to push their way northward. That's the overall plan here. So we're going to wait for that. And in theory, we should be able to sweep around, take their take their uh, naval bases over this way. And once their naval bases fall, their only source of supplies will be from victory points in here. And those should fall pretty quickly as well as we get them increasingly encircled. That's the idea here. I would like to cut these guys off a bit. I'd like to cut these guys off too. But I mean, for now, we're going to take a few losses up here. And that is something that I'm... Not necessarily okay with, but I'll accept. So we're going to continue to push in over this way. There should be no problem over here in theory. And as more of these locations fall, this will start getting better and better for us over here. You can see there are some attacks going on over here despite no orders for that. That's to be expected in locations where the AI thinks that we're going to win. So this is a bunch of Swiss units here. And we should actually send two of those into here to fill out these forces. The other three should be filling out units over here. And this one is actually the weakest, so they will go there for now. Okay, sounds good. Now, I did find an odd issue with our navy that was over here. I did change it, and I'm not sure where the ships went, but there were like a hundred and some destroyers in this ship, or light cruisers maybe, and they may have detached. I changed the numbers, but I'm not sure where the actual ships went. So, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. We will certainly keep an eye on that. I also issued a few new orders, and hopefully some units will get moving. But for now, we need to finish off this area over here. And this is going pretty well, really, all things considered. I do think that I want to select Army 17 here. And I want to tell them that their goal is to eliminate this little bulge that has developed here. So they can go ahead and execute that. That's these guys. And then there's a, an army up over here. There's actually two armies up here. So we've got army two and we've got army six. Okay. I think we're going to leave this for right now. And yeah, we're expecting to take some losses over here. It looks like we may have had a stack wipe over here. So that's probably where we lost those couple of units. That's okay for now. We're just trying to get reorganized over here and dug in. That's our primary goal for the time being. And over here is where our offensives are coming in. And we're just pushing our way in over here. We're going to take Istanbul. Completely uncontested. And I'm interested in seeing what this fill-in looks like. Do we end up grabbing the rest of Greece? It kind of looks like we don't. There are some American units down there. Okay. I'm going to tell this unit, rather than coming up here, come grab ro grab roads, and then come grab over here as well. I don't think that this is connected. Oh, this is all part of that same? Oh. There's a land route here. No, there isn't. What? Hang on. No, there's no land route here. Okay, come down over this way and then do something like this. That'll work fine. Okay, so we'll get that underway. We are hoping that we push into Odessa here quite soon. We are making gains over here. That's great. And we're making gains over here as well. We have this unit, which should definitely be assigned into this force. We need to reinforce this. 
Ooh, these guys are definitely going to get stack wiped. Okay. We need to finish our our uh, movement over here. This has to get done. We're so far away, though, because things have been reoriented in some awkward ways. Thanks, AI. Well, for now, this is fine. As I said, we knew we were going to take some losses up over here. That was always going to be a thing. So we're going to continue to come in over this way. Hello. That's a lot of ships. These are all detached. Or almost all of them are detached. Okay. Interesting. So those are probably those ships that I told you about that I found that issue on earlier. Oh, this is uh, becoming slightly awkward. We do have additional Swiss forces over here, which is good to see. We're going to go ahead and move them into this force for right now. And we're just trying to hold this line as best we can. That's our current goal. Attacks over here are not really happening as of this moment. Because we're rearranging everything. That's what's happening right now. We do have an artillery piece here that has been that has been pocketed, so that's great. You should probably just attack it, in all honesty. Okay, this is a Brazilian infantry division. We're going to assign that up over here. Now, I want to select these guys, and... I see... Kind of awkward. These should be pocketed, right? Yes, they are pocketed. Get in there. As far as these guys go, let's offensive line like that. Go ahead and execute that. And then I'm going to send these two units up to front line up here. Okay. So that should be this invasion largely taken care of. These guys are front lined here. That pocket was dealt with. These guys are thinking about attacking, but they have too low of organization to advance. That's not shocking. Okay. How are things going over here? This line is the one that we're a little worried about, although it looks like they've pulled some units. Earlier this episode, this was at like 80 and 80, right? I think they've pulled some units off over this direction. They've probably determined what our plan is and are attempting to do something about that. We do have an Alpine division here, and let's go ahead and assign that in here. We got to make sure that this is at full strength at all times, if at all possible. So it looks like Odessa is about to fall. That's great. We're seeing some fantastic progress there. And these guys are going to get pocketed and are going to be stack wiped. Republic of the Sudan has capitulated. So, of course, that is down over here. The guys assigned to this order, I'm actually going to delete this order for right now. Because I want to look at... Yeah. Okay, so the guys that are down over here and assigned to this front line, there are 11 of them. I want their new offensive line to be... Ooh, that's awkward. Okay. I want their new offensive line to be over here. Is this impassable terrain here? No, that's just a lake province. Okay, gotcha. So that's their new goal. And they will go ahead and execute that. Which army is this? This one. Okay, go ahead and do that. So Kenya and Tanzania should capitulate soon enough. That shouldn't take very long at all. And then we'll have all of that under our control. Yemen is segmented off over here. These guys are actually pocketed, and I would love for these tank units to come in and attack these guys. Definitely get in here. These guys do have supplies. This should stack wipe in theory. Except that we don't have the organization, really, to get in there. Fair enough. Okay, well, Yemen will fall eventually. 
eventually. These guys are actually walking out. That is hilarious. I'll allow it. We do have an unassigned division. This is a Spanish division. And this division should go over here. Keep filling out these units. Thank you. That will be very necessary. They still have a big numbers advantage on us over here. This line is going to keep moving this way, but this line is going to keep moving this way. And we should be able to get rid of a bunch of their support over here. So that'll be great. We have some guys pocketed up here and no... Well, this isn't even pocketed. Nobody is currently on this front. Okay. This is three divisions here. We're going to need to deal with this. No doubt about that. This is where the majority of the infantry from China are going to be coming through, it looks like. Yeah, there's a bunch of Chinese divisions over this well. I mean, there are, there are a bunch of Chinese divisions over here. This needs to be handled, and the question is, by whom? I think these guys. We're going to remove their orders, and we're going to tell them, Frontline here, your goal is to offensive line to here for right now. There we go. Get in there. I don't really care about grabbing this necessarily. Responding to this is more important. And you should be walking in here for sure. Yeah, go on in there. We'll select these guys, and we'll tell them that they should, at this point, forget about this offensive line, and instead, offensive line to here. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, this is a little awkward over here, for sure. Mostly because they just have ridiculous numbers, and they have had ridiculous numbers over here for quite a long time. But we'll see how much they're able to continue the push. That's the overall question. Ukraine has just capitulated. That's great. See, that's all Russian Federation now. That's fine, I guess. But we're going to continue to push down over this way. Without their support from Ukraine, that will help us. And as we continue to push in over here, more and more of these nations will continue to capitulate. And these guys will lose a lot of their supply flow. As far as this order goes, I don't care for it. We're going to actually have them offensive line something more along the lines of this for right now. So they're going to make their way up there, and we expect there to be very little resistance over here, actually. We would like to see the Hellenic Republic, Macedonia, and Albania all capitulate from this push. And keep in mind that... Uh, what is this state? Bulgaria here. Keep in mind that Bulgaria is uh, not within the American Union. So that's not a concern. Once we have this linked up, then we're just going to push up north, like north, northwest here. That'll be fine. How are things going over here? Uh, this unit seems to have forgotten to grab this territory, the unit that we told to come over here. That's awkward. Come on over here, buddy. Yeah, you can grab these. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. So we are currently encircling this, and it looks like we are getting in position for this. That's great. Do we think that Romania is going to capitulate when Bucharest falls? Maybe. We also need to remember that the Republic of Bulgaria exists over here, and Dobrik is their capital. We can probably take that fairly easily soon. Naval invasions in the Caribbean Sea. Another dangerous naval invasion over here, allegedly. 
were not surprised by naval invasions in the Caribbean, to be clear. This is deeply unsurprising to us. So these guys are going in over here. Let's select everyone here and assign them to this division, or rather this order, with their orders being to offensive line like this for right now. Actually, I changed my mind. I always forget that there are two provinces here. Offensive lining, more like that. Right, that's two provinces? Maybe that's only one. But I'm pretty sure that that's two. Well, we'll tell them to go ahead and execute that. And we do have a unit that is on its way in over here. We're just going to continue that. You can come in here as well. And we should stack wipe this American unit, unless he got overrun just then. Looks like he disappeared. Nuke going on over here. This does have an effect on the landscape. Okay. I'd prefer that they didn't nuke that, thanks. But I guess that's fine. Not a lot that we can do at this exact moment to do anything about that. So our primary goal over here is just to create a stalemate, right? That is what we want. We want these guys to dig in and create a stalemate. We want these guys over here to be the ones pushing. We don't really have an advantage over here at this time. Although, according to this, we kind of do. But I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at these numbers. I don't believe that we have an advantage. This is broken into two fronts. Okay, how many are assigned to this? 14. I feel like that's too many. But I'm going to select them, and we're going to give them an offensive line of just taking care of this bit of Bulgaria. They can go ahead and do that. The rest of these, they can forget about this order for now, and we'll give them a new order to offensive line. Just like that. That'll be fine. And then they'll sweep down this way later, in theory. Okay. Oh, here's that unit. It's still on the way up over here. So we can tell this guy, come on up this way. He just hadn't made it over here yet, I guess. Sounds good. Hey, we have political power again. That's always nice. We're getting some gains over here. But the fighting is getting fiercer. There's no doubt about that. They've definitely... Well, they're back up to 74 over here. They had pulled some down this way. Because we're, we're getting gains over here. And that's fine. Did these guys forget about their offensive line? Well, actually, I guess it's fine. They can just offensive line to here for right now. Well, that's terrible. They can offensive line to here right now. That'll work. And then these two, I'm going to tell them to frontline over. Can we not frontline this? Like, all I want is him to guard this crossing. Apparently, there's no frontline available there. That's weird, right? Like, that's really weird. We'll just grab the victory point and then immediately come right back. What's the tank doing? Coming in over here. Okay, that looks fine. Actually, we left this position. We're going to tell the tank to come in here and hope that we can frontline over here. We're continuing to make gains over here. That's wonderful. The more territory that we take, the less that the American Union can use against us. But if we can finish this theater, that's so huge. Like, incredibly, war-endingly huge. It's still going to be going for a while, right? The war is not going to be done. But it's going to take a while for them to recover from that. And I don't think that that's a recovery that they will fundamentally make. So that'll be great. Assuming we can pull this off. Things are looking good. But they're not looking perfect. 
This is what we expect. It looks like we've kind of stopped taking losses up over here. As we've, as we've dug in, it seems like the American Union is less likely to want to push. That's great. That's exactly what we want to see right now. We do have a few units still moving around. But that's okay. And we have grabbed this location. Ah, the cavalry moved out over here. Gotcha. But we're going to take that back. No problem. And we're continuing to push our way in over here. I'm going to tell all of these guys, go ahead and begin an attack here. And push in like that. That looks okay. Fantastic. Things are looking reasonable down over here as well. E emphasis on the reasonable. We did get pushed back a little bit over here. That's not shocking. Republic of Bulgaria just capitulated. So that is these guys right here. Now, most of these units aren't Republic of Bulgaria units. So let's select these guys and let's recreate their offensive line because that got a little bit messed up. So they're going to do something like that. We're going to lose this victory point almost certainly, but that's okay for now. We're continuing to push in over this direction. Okay. To 84 over here. And this is a failed attack. We're going to put this guy down to cautious. Okay. We're not really interested in making attacks on this front at this time. This front? Sure. We can make attacks on that front. Okay, these guys clearly need a redraw of their offensive line. So let's give them one. Their offensive line is going to want to be, honestly, cutting off Crimea. Like, I want their offensive line to be this. Go ahead and execute that. If we can cut off Crimea, that will get us a fair amount these guys should be attacking this force right now. We should be able to stack wipe that very easily. In theory. And we just don't have the organization. His organization is incredibly low as well, though. Once this guy finishes retreating, then he should be able to. Oh, that's a little laggy. Ooh, that's exciting. Not sure what was causing that. <laughs> okay, these guys should be coming in over here at this point. And I want this tank here. Get in there, buddy. If we can get across this without any uh, opposition, then that's huge. We need to continue pushing up this direction. Clear this up. That's going to be a big deal for us. We are continuing to push into Greece over here, and that's not terrible. We're very happy about that. We've lost our intel for the time being, although that will come back. Okay. So far, our plan appears to be working. So far. Are things going over here? This unit has not made it up there yet. This guy is actually getting organization. From what? Perhaps airdrops? Maybe. We're going to try to delay this guy for this unit to get up here. Uh, it just changed where it was retreating. I didn't know they could do that. That's really awkward. Okay. Really awkward indeed. 
So all of this over here, not you. All of these guys, they need, why are you selected? Stop it. I just want these guys. <laughs> Get on over here. We want to take the peninsula here and we're going to give them orders as soon as we arrive. That will be fine. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see about dealing with some of these pockets that we have created. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.